Yeah. Okay, now I push the button. So now, now we're yeah. recording. So, yeah. so, so many, many, many welcome everybody, of course. And yeah. many nice, interesting um, things are happening. Uh, and the sun is shining, which is beautiful. And yes. makes everybody different. And, 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 and it's, it's the first sun after the snow for both of our countries. Mm -hmm. So what we see is that everybody's uh, opening up and, 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 and be, uh, delighted and there's fresh energy is like spring and it's, it's maybe it's not really spring yet but it feels like spring and um, we were just talking about uh, standing still in this massively moving uh, environment world and so Patricia said uh, experienced something yesterday that she was standing and she's, she was just observing everybody around her and she was in, as a middle punt standing there and could really relate to everything around it. Inger just ex expressed something famil familiar, some, something mm -hmm. similar, yeah, the same equal, uh, a week ago when it almost felt like uh, her whole purpose was just st stand there like, okay, now you've got your whole purpose and everything is in the form of, of downloads. And when you, the both of you were talking about that, I could feel energy coming in. And also I was relating to the energies of Inger because it feels like this is, has something to do with all these planets around us moving around. And at a certain moment, we are here on earth standing in the middle of a one of the most, of a lot of alignments. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so that, that feel, I can really feel that. Yeah. So, uh, is it okay that I start with a little uh, frequency and maybe Inger hooks into that with the planets and then Patricia can see if it's all there feeling all yeah, right? Yeah, I feel it already too. So just, yeah? just go, go and I just go in on the end. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay, yeah. Inger? What? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so in this, in this uh, central standing still in the middle of everything moving. We're going to give about a minute to integrate this energy. So I'm going to speak just a briefly before I bring in the sounds. And uh, it's about um, what Robert just so nicely expressed. Sometimes you can feel like your entire life is a journey and suddenly the journey stops. And for me, it was also was like, not only did it stop the old way of needing to do something and needing to go somewhere, but in the moment it stopped. It was like my higher self suddenly had full access to my body and had the capacity to kind of really bring in an anchor constantly ongoing. Not only in the moment where we are and find ourselves to be very, very present. And that means that when we bring in, like I felt with Robert bringing in here, it was an um, intense grounding a much deeper grounding felt in my body in this frequency and they kind of opened and expanded and opened and expanded and at the same time I felt there were lots of codes coming in uh, to help sustain that space where all this energy can land in a very smooth and balanced way uh, so that I can bring in this <laughs> universe that is swirling about my head right now.
Shia manaka yakoto do nemeni kai ku te nemeni ya shakata. Yoko te ni mini yakata nemeni tu yoko to tusha. Ai yake te nemeni ayata. E yake tishi namana kai ku koto no meni yata ya. E yake ya koto no ne ni ayata namano koto isha te te nemena a. When me and Robert were on last time, there was the sequence. It actually kind of ended with a huge crystalline planet or sun on where I started, whatever that came true. And it was very clear to me now that this week that have passed have kind of helped us integrate that energy and bringing in like a next level. Yeah. All those energy from a, a very planetary perspective, because we can ground and hold these frequencies much much better so so there was like a huge shower of uh, crystalline diamond energies and codes that came down all helping us to rewrite not only our story but to start to write our new uh, intentions for what we really want to experience not out from our good experiences in the past but to dare to trust ourselves and not be bringing enough to bring in something that is completely new that haven't been in our minds or thoughts before but just like comes like a revelation oh, that's possible you know oh. yeah and that's what i feel is that i can bring a grounding mm -hmm. so i can connect it back to earth energy so everybody can get it from uh from their feet up Okay. <laughs> I felt that it was a beautiful, like, you know, like uh, where all the threads are being woven together. Yeah. So they layer come, by layer. Yeah, layer by layer and thread by thread. It is like something new that is being woven together uh, when we blend our energies and make them stay harmonized. And we can kind of weave and weave and weave like. Uh, something completely new to move forward on, and that was beautiful. Thank you. I could really feel it, and I had to do my take my shoes shoes off, and I could feel it moving up to the heart, and there it starts circling. Mm. Interesting, really interesting. Uh, no, what I, what, I, what I feel is the the earth energy. Uh, I feel really connected with that. And um, for a long time, I thought it was my own 
my own energy I have to solve or things and and now I know it's uh, just a, a, a I just feel it and mm -hmm. ground it ground it ground it bring it together and, uh, that's what I felt for the last two days so I love this topic because mm. I think everybody can just do it by just stand still and sit in the sun and look around, close your eyes and connect and just breathe and look at people and look at, just look at people that like how they are, not with a judgment, not by wanting something from them, but just notice them so you can see again and every time you see someone you give light to that situation so i think if we all do that then uh, the light is getting uh, yeah stronger and stronger again yeah beautiful yeah i also noticed something that i've seen off and on that is becoming stronger and stronger and that is like when we connect with the earth and receive from her now, she, uh, in my vision, in my experience, she looks different because everything on her shimmers. And she must? Everything shimmers. You know, yeah. like when you have a red, uh, like a radiation or uh, shimmering yeah. or layer. Uh, no, it's not a layer because it's more something that comes inside out from everything on her. Uh, I can see it on the plants, I can see it in animals, I can see it in people, on the grass, in the forest, in the sky. It's like there's something that is breaking through, like, you know, when you have a lamp and, and you have this regulator for the light and that you can make it strong and, slow and dim it. It's like there's some, some crystalline wow. that's inside everything and someone has kind of start to turn up the volume of that light. Okay. So when you look at things, you can start to start, kind of start to see how everything starts to shimmer and how that is breaking through. Stronger in something, not so strong in other things, but it's there. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's everywhere. And especially uh, when we, yeah, when we connect and receive, bring it down and receive, it's like she's answering us on that level because that's where we are. Yeah. That's her. Yeah. 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 And also, uh, it's not us, just just us that get upgrades as human, but also everything that's alive on Earth gets upgrades. So just yeah. see oh. and feel. And, and then, uh, Inger, then, then all the planetary systems get this same shimmering because if, if Earth is able to do this, then the rest is doing it at, at equal uh, pace. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I do experience that when I tune into, how to say, the rest of the universe, uh, always inside of courses. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel that the more I manage to open and receive from the universe, I continue to pick up that it's not only changes here, but everything is changing. Uh -huh. Absolutely everything. And then I experienced that our connection back to the universe inside me is growing a lot and it changes my entire perception of the reality. Mm -hmm. As I see how uh, connected everything is and how everything kind of works together to sustain the awakening and the expansion in everything. And we really need to, to learn to notice and actually give thanks to everything that is supporting us. And that is why, as Patricia talks about ceremonies, I think it's so important for humans to return mm -hmm. to yeah. doing ceremonies because it connects us back to the oneness and to the feeling that we are actually living in a sacred environment. Yeah. And we need to stop separating ourselves from everything. I got some, in, some some frequencies on that part of expanding the inner connection to the universe. Yeah. Um, so focusing on the inner connection so that people do realize where they are and, uh, and, and appreciate all this magic surrounding which we are. 
I so strongly felt, Robert, that you were bringing in more of your own universe through that tongues. Uh, and it was beautiful because it expanded our universes to our ability to receive ours because it felt like a huge galaxy, spiraling galaxy that came down and ended in your stomach. And then it started to circulate, you know, spin, spin, spin. And as it did, it kind of cleared the area. And then they said, now we are connecting the dots. Oh. You're connecting the dots. And suddenly a lot of, of, of dots started, you know, points started to, to glow up and, and reconnecting. And that is such an amazing, beautiful energy because when we really can sustain others in bringing true, if we can bring true an energy to sustain others in doing that, we first have to bring in our own. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I felt um, love, mm. lots of love. And um, like, like the big mama, <laughs> where I can be the little kid again and be fearless and uh, joyful, want to play. Mm -hmm and be a happy kid mm. yeah a loved kid yeah be loved that's what it uh, brings me mm. i'm going to bring in more of my universe to see how that corresponds yeah. with your energies and see what we can make of all this together because yeah. i feel it's coming mm -hmm. um, I Yakatayanama, <laughs>
Utsa nia pa nia ca siti nia tana nia muia sa tana ia to boa. A puia nia nia ta si nia nia banana. Aia nia muia. A nia ia 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 boa. Aia nia. Ai si nia puti nia ta tia. Aia tana nia nia. Tia mai, tia pudung dia nia taka da tia tu, aya pudung dia na. I felt an interesting uh, shift in our bodies. It's like when we all brought down more of ourselves. And when we do it in a setting like this, it's like our bodies communicate out. Look, we can do this. It's great, we can do this. Mm -hmm. And it creates like a, a anchoring rippling, rippling effect out in the collective. Like a seed is planted, I'm here, see me, I'm growing, I'm rooted here, you know? connecting for me more and the, um, I saw a lot of ceremonies mm -hmm. and um, rituals, ceremonies. I felt the Indians and I felt the groups. I felt the traveling, the um, intuitive travelings that brings mm -hmm. worlds together. by fire yeah. and by happiness. And that I felt like I want to jump up and go around the fire and join them. And they're just here and happy and they see us. Mm. Mm. Because there's so much energy that I see everything as green. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm blinking my eyes, who making weird movements, it's just because my side, everything is green. <laughs> uh, <laughs> green thing. It's a green thing. <laughs> green thing. Like an old alien. Right. That's new life, right? Yeah, I'm green new the... life. I'm sitting under a bush, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> landed in the forest <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it didn't get uh, start to born that earlier <laughs> I feel there's some uh, integration aid yes. coming through uh, for, for all this, this is, there's a lot of energy shift and uh, yeah. And also for the ceremonies to integrate that in, in life, in, in, in daily life, uh, which is for mm -hmm. a lot of people hard to do because you have to adjust a lot of things and stop stop doing a lot of things you're used to. Mm -hmm. But the integration and, and, and able to manifest. Oh, <laughs> 
I love that one. That was so cool because it was like, for me, it was like a beam coming down. And when it hit my mental field around my brain and my head and everything, it started to go into a spiral form. And then it hit the center of my head and then it went down. So uh, what I felt was so important with this integration was that it kind of uh, went into the mental field and kind of not only bypassed uh, thought patterns that could stop this type of integration, but sort of dismantling them, like they uh, become like, you know, when you put water on ice, it start to disappear a bit, you know, it was just like that. I don't remember the English word for it. Okay. And it just came through and it then it was like standing in this shower. Uh, that the energy came in. And I think uh, that was kind of a very interesting thing because I felt I was specifically shown it to explain it that when we integrate don't think don't absolutely stay out of the, the uh, stay completely out of the, the mental field because it will stop the integration and we will just be hanging like a, a mental cloud uh -huh. spinning and spinning and spinning and kind of resisting integration but if you can so this clip was eminent absolutely eminent for, for uh, integrating as it kind of broke through and bypassed everything and just then let the body receive free of restriction, free of any thought, free of anything, it's just completely in the state of receiving. Mm. Nice, nice how you, beautiful explanation. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely beautiful uh, vision they gave me, uh, I was given when, when uh, and it, the feeling in your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I uh, felt it in my back. In my okay. Back, yeah. In my spine. In my spine, I really felt it, and it put my back all straight up again. And I, like you said, I, I felt like I'm in a coker, yeah. when nothing else was there anymore. Yeah. It was just the energy that spin around and feel around. Yeah. Anchoring. Beautiful, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. I want to bring in the water dragon, I feel, because the water dragon is, for me, the dragon that kind of connects everything, because everything in one way or the other has a tiny bit of water in it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. 
Jupiter is coming and asking us to align to the energy it can bring in to sustain us <clears throat> in creating this new reality. Connecting with others doing the same. あ、もっと出てきて。愛を言うのもの、愛を言うのもの、愛を言うのもの、しっかりと言うことしてや。愛を言うのもの、愛を言うのもの、愛を言うのもの、しっかりと言うことしてや。愛を言うのもの、愛
paga si ya putu ya ni ato putu ni wa da da ni ya ta 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 ni ya tu da ya ni ti ni ya pa da 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 ai pa tu ni so so ta 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 Uh, that was kind of a very important information that was brought through because on a cellular level, what I picked up was that uh, when we talk a lot about communication and the throat chakra, but the information that I received from that was um, be aware of the solar plexus during communication because it's so easy to drop from a heartfelt communication. And before you even know it, you are in your solar plexus and you start communicating from mm. power over or power under. Mm. And that is something that is being very highlighted in these days, where as you say, clear communication is becoming important, clear behavior, clear statements, clear desires. It's all about purity and clarity, you know? and and don't just think that when you communicate it has to do with the heart and, and the throat of having a clear throat chakra uh -huh. or bringing a pure vision but solar plexus was communicated to me here is actually one of the most important points because if you come from that that conversation can never ever be balanced mm -hmm. so uh, yeah so that that was kind of interesting that was i really enjoyed that yeah yeah and also about the communication mm -hmm. is that uh, by starting uh, to speak out what you feel yeah. and uh, just without an uh, ordeal, without a sorry, sorry. judgment, so mm -hmm. without a judgment, then it's just out of the field of your own field. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. there and that's necessary. And yeah. uh, every time you do that, you you clear up something that's uh, that's blocked in your own field yeah. that's blocked in the field of all the energy uh, all the uh, past lives we have been in mm -hmm. and you you pell it like an onion and you make it clear and more clear so you can come to your kern kernel kernel is it kernel <laughs> no <laughs> who kernel Okay, I thought something in the army is a colonel. Go home. My colonel is current. Okay, to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And that's the goal for your soul here on Earth. Mm. That's the lesson you, your soul wants to learn in this experience. Mm. Which fits perfectly into that we kind of have landed in a field where it's all about expanding and embracing and seeing how much of my reality can I experience of the uh, a reality available to me? Am I capable of experiences today? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, and every uh, if you communicate more on that level, then it's not a communication for uh, for a little situation anymore. It's just to clear and. You don't see the day things anymore. You just see the clarity of things. Okay. And it's easier uh, to help the other uh, learn how to be clear 
and be pure in communication by just yeah. giving the example. Yeah, it's nothing that is so liberating as a person who, where you feel this person is coming from a truth within him or her. Yeah. And, and there's no confusion and no nothing, just, but it's just complete clarity and you just get it. It's amazing. That's an amazing experience. Yeah. 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 And then the angle of the other uh, mm. ca can't come in anymore. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I think we did a lot of interesting things today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still figuring out. It's like uh, rounding in the middle point of the crystal in the, in the crystalline new. Yes, it is. Yeah. That's a yeah. dark color. Thought that was uh, appropriate. Um, very interesting. It's it's uh, it's nice to work together again, the three of us, because I still feel that there's the like you said the triangle of energies uh, in your is it, that it's working, and that uh, we bring every time we bring different uh, points of views which are necessary to do this work. So it feels for me really appropriate. Um, and at the, at the, in the beginning, I don't know, I remember, is it, is it before the recording or after the, of in the recording that I said uh, purity is my topic of today. Yeah. Uh, and, and purity is all, all, all around it. It's in communication, it's in the, the downloads we got, it's in the, in, the, in the energy I'm bringing, it's in the energies I get and receive from you. It's in the energies we spread in, in the collective. So it's very, for me, it's really spot on the topic. Really interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, and there's a lot of things I would like to uh, add on, but I think it's better to leave it like this because this is like a nice ball of energy and people can really uh, absorb this and, and, and get integrated with this. Yeah. Uh, I think that, that the integration uh, frequencies can be repeatedly listened to. So that can we really, really, really get um, baited yeah. in this energy. Mm. Uh, also, the, the, the dragon energy was really powerful and, and Patricia's uh, upward grounding. It felt like that's the right, the right description. It was the, from, the, from the planet grounding upwards. Uh, it's really important to re-listen. Re so if people are watching this, uh, listen to this. Mm. Uh, repeatedly because and, 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 and maybe you can let us know if there is a difference between the first time and the second time or maybe the third time because that's interesting for us to uh, so we can maybe fine tune our energy work towards the, uh, the listeners um, mm. we're going to put this on YouTube and on Facebook again as, as usual uh, please let us know how you liked it or didn't like it, or whatever you felt about it, just let us know that you watched it. That's, I think that's the whole idea, so that we know uh, the, the people we reach. Uh, Inger, is, is, you can find her on Facebook, if you don't know her already, you can find her on Facebook. Patricia can find her on, on Facebook. I'm on YouTube and Facebook. Um, let us know what your, your experiences is, are, and uh, I think this is really, it's getting really interesting now because we are really getting into a like English every every time telling us that there's a new place where there are no no rules and I was like in the beginning I was like yeah yeah and now I'm really getting into it so I'm like oh my god <laughs> we, we are really there so it's, it feels really uh, uh, interesting in the beginning in the beginning we called our sessions bridging but it's I think it's now it's getting more into shifting. Uh, do you agree? Yes, I do. Uh, also, because uh, what I've seen the last weeks is that we are being encouraged and uh, sustained and supported in being 100% honest on all levels. Also, because uh, our communication, I feel, will shift to not only hearing the words, but to absorbing and kind of, well, I'm not probably not absorbing, but feeling the other on all levels. 
yeah. not only the words. So our communication will be completely different. And in order to, for us <clears throat> to kind of handle how that will impact our emotions, we need to trust and we need to choose to be pure. And yeah. all, I think it's so important to remember that when you're not honest, you are giving the other person a huge amount of disrespect. Mm. But what you are saying is that you're not ready for the truth. You, you can't tolerate that. You, you're not good yeah. enough to handle this. Not, it's a disrespect of other beings, yeah. not being honest. Yeah. And the only thing you are protecting, as my, my higher self say, is your own emotions when you're not, because you are the one who doesn't dare. Yeah. Wow, them. that's beautiful. That's also beautiful to share to people who are doing that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, so when Robert talk about purity, I feel this is so important because we need to learn to live as real beings, as true and honest beings. And when you communicate from love, you don't project on anyone. Yeah. yeah. And that's why it was so interesting also when, when uh, Patricia brought in this with com energy with communication that that energy told me, uh, be aware of the solar plexus in humans because communication with the entire body highly highlights the, the solar plexus where we tend to build up and, and hide so many things. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So purity, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Wow. And the, like what, what you said, Inger, mm -hmm. um, that the other, the other is disrespectful to you yeah. if you don't talk from out of pureness. Yeah. Uh, that's also good to, to hold the mirror in front of yourself yeah. if you feel it's difficult to speak out what you feel, yeah. um, that you will be disrespectful to yourself too. Yeah. And to the other. You are, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So that's really oh, one who are dis distorting yeah. the entire energy field. And yeah. we need to get out of that. Yeah. yeah. And learn to be safe around each other. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So let's do that. So everybody <laughs> can be watching. Yeah. Please keep on watching uh, and, and keep commenting. Uh, let us know. Um, we do, a, a, I will put a love donation on YouTube, but I don't have a distinguishment between which session. So I have to figure that out. If, if you put a love donation in and it's possible, I'm not sure to let us know it was for Inga, Patricia and myself. So I can split the love donation again, that would be handy. Uh, and I will look in the background how to adjust, adjust this so that uh, everything will be fine. Uh, please keep on watching, commenting, let us know what you find. And, and we hope you really enjoy it. I really, I really, really, really enjoy it. <laughs> yes, definitely. So say goodbye to everybody in uh, watching and thank you very much. And I hope to see you soon again. Yeah. Bye-bye.